You've heard me say this, if you follow me closely enough. Our prayers in this nation right now, not just through the 15, there are lots of prayer groups out there, big ones, little ones. The prayers and decrees of the praying church right now are saving a nation. Zero doubt in my mind. And apart from a supernatural, the power of God transforming this nation through awakening, revival, through the protection that we're we're praying right now. Apart from that, there's no, there's no, there's, there's no hope for America. America is, is completely turned to, to just depravity and, 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 and sin and rejecting God. It's just like times in Israel. If it was not for God restoring them, they wouldn't be restored. But it's happening because people are praying and people are doing it. They're listening. And I, I just, I just desperately want you to know that when you are doing these things it's making a difference when you say what he says about america when you take scriptures he gives you and speak them over your community when you read robert hunt's decree about cape henry when you whatever he said about georgia don't just watch the news and talk about all the junk that goes on what did god say for this place command his forward He said, I'll use those words. Okay. Okay. I do feel the heart of God right now for not just this state or this nation, but for you. I do feel that he, he wants you to embrace this for your household and your kids and your body and your marriage and your business. He he wants you to know if you'll get in agreement with me, there's power released when you do that. Some of you, just, just go in that prodigal's room if they still live at home. And just, just start talking about when they were dedicated to Jesus as a baby. And just see what God will do. Just start tell, talking about it. They don't have to be there. It's better if they're not there. They'll just get mad if you do it in front of them. <laughs> just go in and preach for 15, 20 minutes about what God, but when they were given to him and what he promised you over the years and what he promised you in scripture. Yeah. 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 I told one lady, her son was so messed up. She was just, he was just strung out on drugs and he just was just a mess. And she came up to me. She had some kind of prayer cloth thing. You know, so she's going to cut up in peace. She said, I want you to pray with us and put the anointing of God in, in, in with me. And I'm going to use this prayer cloth to get him saved. Boy, I could tell this lady had faith. I said, I'm in. Let's do it. And we prayed over that anointing with oil. She cut it up in little pieces. She put one of them in his shoe. She took the insole out and put it underneath there and then put that back in. Oh, this, is a, this is a true story now. I was then like, a, I don't know, like a week or two. So it wasn't long, maybe three or four, but first his friend got saved because his friend 
came over, and one of his there, they're gonna do something. He borrowed the, the, the he borrowed the shoes. <laughs> So he borrowed the shoes that had the prayer cloth in it, and within a few days, he was radically saved. <laughs> and then a few days later, the son was saved. But she just, she just started to, and every day she was just decreeing what God said to her, what he told her. And the anointing of God has gone into my son. It's gone in his feet and up into, up into all parts of his body and his brain and his mind. And nothing could stop it. And I bind every demon. When that anointing goes up in there, they leave here. And I just declare this in Jesus' name. And bam, 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 bam. And they're, they're all gone. That's how it's what she did. We're going to pray right now. I want to pray for you. I want you then to begin to pray for your family and your household. Yes. And then I want, and I'll just lead you, lead us in, in, in this. And then we're going to pray over your city and state. And then I feel like Jackie, maybe one or two others can, should come up here that know this state and begin to declare the purposes of God and his forward over Georgia. We're going to release an incredible wave of power out from this place right now. It's going to go to prodigals. It's going to go into bodies. It's going to go into homes, marriages, businesses, neighborhoods. It's going to impregnate the atmosphere. We might even reach back into that pregnant time that Messianic guy talked about and say, Lord would pull revival out of the atmosphere of the past and bring it into today. So Lord, I pray over everyone here right now. We come into agreement that every promise you made to them, we know that is alive. It is powerful. It is still, it's just like you said it today. Your words are eternal. So, Lord, we, we grab those words right now where you promised that you were going to turn this situation around, that you are going to bring this prodigal home, that you are going to clear up that identity confusion, that you are going to deliver them from drugs and alcohol, that you are going to restore that love, that you are going to restore the first love, you are going to bring them back to their salvation that, that they, had year, they walked in years ago. You are going to restore gifts, destinies, anointings. We just call those from yesterday into to today, into today, right now, in the name of Jesus, we say, "Come home, child of God. Be blessed, prosper, reach out to God, fall in love with Jesus all over again." We bind every destructive demon that is that has oppressed a person or that has stolen the funds, businesses, relationships. We take authority over you now in the name of Jesus and we say, like Saddam, you are going to be captured and kicked out of the house. You're not allowed to stay there, witchcraft, and hide. You're going to be exposed by the power of God. The blood of Jesus is going to sweep into my house and clean it up and drive you out. You can't stay in my child's life. You can't stay in my ministry. You can't stay in my business. You can't stay in my body. We speak to the mountain. We say, you have to leave. We speak to the storm. We're not timid. And Lord, we speak to cities all across this state of Georgia. We just ask you now for a strong anointing from heaven to settle, descend into Georgia and just hover over communities, neighborhoods, inner cities, rural areas, schools, businesses, highways, up and down the coast, east to west, north to south, Atlanta, Augusta, every place. And just come on. You just say the name of yours. Lord, we just say you're coming to Georgia. Yeah. 
And that anointing for government, that anointing for salvation, for revival, that that's here in this state, we call it forth. We agree with you and we say what you have said. Well, we say it for America, but we say it for Georgia too. We say Georgia shall be saved. We say revival's coming to the schools of Georgia. We say revival's coming to the youth. Revival's coming to those confused. Revival's coming to those that don't want revival. Revival's coming to those that don't believe in revival. They don't believe in God. But he's coming after you, Saul of Tarsus. And he's going to lift the veil off of unbelievers and deceived believers all across this state. The hovering presence of God is coming to Georgia. The hovering presence of God is coming to Georgia. Fire is coming to the pulpits of Georgia, the churches of Georgia. Healing is coming. Interracial healing is coming to Georgia. God is going to, he's going to break the spirit of division and strife and racism and all that came with it. And he's going to pour out his spirit in Georgia. Georgia.